Hey dads, are you looking for a great puzzle game for your kids? And honestly, for us dads, if you like doing puzzles, I've got this one right here that uh, we have from a friend that let us borrow, they're letting us stay in their cabin and we found this game in there and we've been playing it for a couple of hours now. It's super fun. First of all, hi, hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, have, and find in cabins. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, you might wanna consider clicking that subscribe button. Also that thumbs up button is appreciated. If you do decide to subscribe, make sure that you hit the bell. That way you actually get notified of our videos. So this game is called Rush Hour and it's made by a company called Binary Arts. I'll link this up down in the description below if you guys wanna check this out. And don't just take my review for it. Go down there, read some of the other reviews and see what other people are saying before you make an, so that you make an educated decision on if this is a game for you. So the way this works is you have this grid, like all, these, all these little car pieces come off, so I'm gonna take all those off. And then they give you this grid it's uh, six by six, 36, 36 different. It does, I do like this about it. It's great, easy to travel with because it's got this little drawer that keeps all the cards in. And it comes with this little uh, topper. You just put it right on top uh, to be able to keep everything in, which I really like. The only thing that I really wish is that the top had a way to like clasp down onto here. That way it wouldn't get jumbled up anywhere. But uh, the way it works is you have your card here and they give you the setup. This is your setup right here. What's nice too is that on the back of the card they give you the answer for it, but this is a level seven beginner card. It does go up into intermediate, and then you get to the advanced, and then you get to expert. You see the different colors on the bottom here. There's uh, 40 cards total, so there's 40 ways to play this game. That's the last one right there. And uh, as you learn more about how to play it, you get, you know, you'll you get better and better with it. So you can put your card right up here so you can see what you actually need to do. Uh, so you can set it up. Then you take all your little cards and you set it up according to what the card says. The object of this game, I see this one doesn't have any trucks. The object of the game is to get the red car out by moving all of the other cards on the game board. So uh, it makes it's one of those like slide puzzle game type of things. Uh, this is called, did I say this is called Rush Hour? I don't think I told y'all the name of this. It's called Rush Hour. And the reason is because it looks like a big traffic jam on the grid here. So I haven't done this one yet, but you know, the, just to give you the idea of how it's played, uh, you have to like move this car, maybe move this one. No, no, hold on. So first I probably need to get this car out of the way, this green car. I, I haven't played this one yet. Oh look, maybe, no, huh. Oh look, over, over, down, over, up, over. Oh, nope, now that one's in the way. Ah, there we go, come bring it down. So it's just, it's a really good, challenging uh, mind game, you know, a puzzle if you will. And uh, our kids were playing this, my son's five and my daughter's seven. And they got all the way up to this level seven right here, which I was actually pretty impressed at. And they did it fairly quickly with less than an hour to get through all those. Um, it's just a way for them to, one, it's a game that you play by yourself. So it's a great, uh, quiet game if you want to have the music although they can get frustrated with it and they may like throw it down or bang it or mess it up or whatever but uh it seems to be pretty sturdy i like the plastic on here uh it seems pretty thick it seems pretty rigid i do like the drawer on here so that you don't have cards flying all over the place a pretty easy game to travel with since this is really all it is and you could take all the cards put them in the drawer if you wanted to you could take all the car pieces and put those in like a ziploc bag or something if you don't want to use the little bin that it comes with and and um, just a great puzzle game that I think uh, your kids and you as a dad would like if you like these type of puzzle games. Um, yeah, that's, uh, oh, it does on the bottom here. I did want to point this out. If you're playing on like a smooth, uh, a rough surface or a smooth surface or whatever, it's got these nice rubber feet on here so it won't move around too much um, so that uh, it, you know, it won't. Uh, you won't get if you do this it slides a lot all the cars will start jiggling and wiggling and whatnot um, but all in all great game we're having a lot of fun with it great downtime time game uh, you know while we're not in the cabin we're out and exploring the woods so definitely a, a good quiet game for the kids I would definitely recommend it and I think it's something that you and your kids can kind of work together on uh, as a game to play together and kind of work as a team. Um, great way to build a strong family bond is through 
playing games together. So if you guys want to check that out, again, I'll link it up down in the description below. You guys can go and read some other reviews. You know, can read more about the game. Uh, but a lot of fun. A lot of fun right there. If you guys want to watch more of the dad reviews, I'm going to put some more videos right there on the screen. I'd love it if you guys watched more of our videos. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right there in the middle. If you want to subscribe and hit the bell, that way you actually get notified of our videos. If there's a product that you want us to review, let me know what it is down in the comments below. I'll see if I can get it for y'all. Thank you for watching and dad out.